Tech Graders, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy with your lesson 17 today. So for this lesson, we're going to be using a lot of mental math. What that means is you're going to be using kind of what you know to figure out what we don't know. So go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil if you don't already have it. But a lot of the math we're going to do today is going to be in our head. So our objective today is to solve men use mental strategies to relate 10 tens to 100 and 10 ones to 110. So we're going to talk about how 10 tens and 10 ones and 100 and 110 are related. Okay, and you'll see what I mean. So for our warm up today, I'm going to give you a number of ones and I want you to tell me how many tens and then how many extra ones are in that number. So if I give you 10 ones, how many tens and how many extra ones? Yeah, it's one ten, zero ones. Easy peasy. We know 10 ones equals 110. What about 20 ones? For this one, I'm going to give you 110. I want you to tell me how many extra ones there are. So take out the 10. Yeah, it's going to be 110 and 10 extra ones. Good. Now try this one. Same way. Oh, you didn't see that. 24 ones. I'm giving you 110. How many extra ones? Yeah, 14. Good. So we know that 20 ones is 110 and 10 ones. So 24 ones, we're going to have to add those four extra ones in, so it's going to be 14 ones. Now with 30 ones, I want you to tell me we're going to take one 10 out. So I'm going to give you two 10s. How many extra ones are we going to have? 30 equals two tens, 10 ones. Very good. What about 32? Two tens, how many ones? Use what you know from this one, from this one to solve for this one. 32 ones is two tens, how many ones? Yeah, 12, very good. Two tens, 12 ones. Because this one, 30 is two tens, 10 ones. We have to add in those two extra ones. We're gonna get 12 ones. All right, try 38 ones. I'm going to give you two tens. How many ones? Very good, 18 ones. 38 ones is two tens, 18 ones. So if we were to write this in a number sentence, it would be 20 plus 18 equals 38. See how that works? Awesome. All right, let's try another one. 40 ones. For this one, I'm going to give you three tens. Okay, and I want you to tell me how many ones. So we're going to change the two tens to a three tens. How many ones do we need to make 40 tens? 40 ones, sorry. Yeah, we're going to need 10 ones. So 40 ones equals three tens, 10 ones. What about 41 ones? Three tens, how many ones? Good. Three tens, 11 ones. What about 46 ones? Noticing a pattern? Wink, wink. Awesome, three tens, 16 ones. All right, now I'm gonna give you four tens. How many more ones do we need to get from 50 ones to four tens? Blank ones. How many more ones do we need? Yeah, you got the pattern. Four tens, 10 ones. What about 63 ones? I'm gonna give you five tens now. Five tens plus how many? Plus how many ones is going to get you to 63 ones? Good. 13 ones. 88 ones. I'm going to give you 7 tens. How many ones do you need? Awesome job. 18 ones. 88 ones equals 7 tens. 18 ones. All right. So this is where our mental math is going to come in. Here we go. How many ones are in 110? If I give you 110, what can we exchange that for? Awesome, 10 ones. We got that. How many tens are in 100? So if I give you 100, how many tens is that made up? Think of like a hundreds block. How many tens are in that hundreds block? 10 tens. Good. So there's 10 ones in 110. And 10 tens in 100. Say that with me. 10 ones in 110. 10 tens in 100. 
10 ones, one 10, 10 tens, 100. Whew, okay, so look at this problem here. It says one one plus blank equals 10 ones, which equals one 10. So what's gonna fill in our blank there? What's gonna get us to 10 ones or one 10? Very good. We're gonna need nine more ones. What we're just looking at is how we're gonna get to that next 10. So we start with one, we need nine more to get to that next 10. Easy peasy, you guys got this. Same thing here. If I have one 10 and I wanna get to 10 tens or 100, how many more tens do I need to add? Same idea, but we're using tens instead of ones. Very good, we're gonna have to add nine tens. We're still adding one plus nine, but now we're upping it a little bit, and we're gonna do one ten plus nine tens equals 10 tens, or 100. So what that would look like is 10 plus 90 equals 100. Our first problem would look like one plus nine equals 10. I want you to pause and talk to someone at home about how these two problems are related. So do a little think, pair, share, talk about how these two problems are related or how these two problems are related. Pause and do that now. Good, so that's what we're gonna be talking about all today is relating one, relating ones to 10 to hundreds. All right, let's keep going. What is six ones plus four ones? 10 ones or one ten. Beautiful. What about six tens plus four tens? Yeah, it's going to be 10 tens, which equals what? You got it, 100. See how those two problems are related? Same idea as these ones. All right, let's keep going. So 60 plus 40, six tens plus four tens equals what? 100, very good. What about six, seven ones plus six ones? We're back to ones. Seven ones plus six ones. Think about your fast math facts. Seven plus six is 13 ones, good. Now we're gonna up the ante. I'm gonna write this on the board for you. Seven plus six equals 13. Okay, I'll keep that on my screen. What about seven tens plus six tens? How many tens would that be? Yeah, same idea, 13 tens. Now, what does 13 tens equal? It's gonna be 70 plus 60 equals what? What does 13 tens equal? Very good, 130. So 70 plus 60 equals 130, awesome. I want you to pause again, talk to someone at home about how this using ones and this using tens are related. So pause, talk about that now. Awesome job, all right, let's keep going. 10 tens equals what? Awesome, 100. 11 tens equals? Add another 10, 10 tens, 110, very good. 16 tens. If it's easier for you, you can count up. So you can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. Or you can use what you know. I know 10 tens is 100 and I have to add six more tens so I can go 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. A couple different ways you can figure that out, or you can just notice the pattern. When we have 16 tens, the marker's dying, hold on. When we have 16 tens, we're adding that extra group onto there, giving it 160. What's 19 tens? Use those same patterns. What is 19 tens going to equal? 190, beautiful. Okay, so this is gonna be in your exit ticket today. We're gonna work through the arrow method to add. So our first step with the arrow method is gonna be to make a 10. So for this first problem, we're gonna start at seven. 
How many do we need to make a 10? Three more, good, and that's gonna get us to 10. Then we're gonna add those five more on and that's gonna get us to 15. Now the second one is gonna be in, it's not gonna be seven, we're gonna start with 70. Okay, so we're upping the ante. We're gonna make it tens instead of ones. So 70 plus what is gonna get us to 100? Good, plus the 30. So that's going to get us to 100, plus 50 more is going to be what? 150, beautiful. So the answers are like 15 ones and 15 tenths. They're very similar. They're just the difference between ones and tenths. So we can use our fast facts for ones to add big numbers, to add groups of 10 pretty easily. That make sense? All right, let's try this last one. So the last one, we're starting at 67. We gotta get 67 to a 10. So how many do we need to get from 67 to its next 10? Three, beautiful. So that's gonna bring us to 70. Now from there, we can get it to its next 100. Remember, we wanna jump as, high, as much as we can when we're doing the arrow method. So 70 plus what is gonna get us to 100? Beautiful. And then if we add 50 more to that, we get 150. We have 15 ones, we have 15 tens. Very, very similar, and we can use what we know from the ones to add the tens. Let's try one more arrow method. Okay, we're going to start with 64. We got to get 64 to its next 10. How many do we need to add? Six. Beautiful. And then that's going to bring us to what? 70, and then add another 10. 80, beautiful. Add another 10. 90, good. Add another 10. 100, awesome job. Okay, so in your exit ticket today, you're gonna see a couple problems like we did in the beginning of the lesson. Four tens plus blank equals 110, and then you're gonna transfer it to standard method. When you type in your answer here, make sure you write it in the format of the question. So this one says four tens plus four what? Is it gonna be four tens, six tens? Is it gonna be six ones? Is it gonna be six hundreds? Whatever it is, make sure you write that unit in there. Now this one down here is not telling us tens and ones, so you're just gonna write the number in, okay? So you got a couple problems like that, and then you're gonna come down here to numbers nine through 13. So you're gonna do the arrow method with me. So for here, I'm showing you 63 plus seven, and you're gonna type in your answer. Hint is getting you to the next 10. From there, you're gonna add 10 using the answer for this one. So say our answer for this one is, this is not right, 90. I'm gonna add 10 to that, adding to the 90, and then I'm gonna add another 10 to my last answer right here, and then I'm adding another 10, so on and so forth, okay? So you're using the, la the answer to the last problem to answer the next one. And then this one, wink, wink, is gonna be your answer from number 12. You should get the same answer because we're adding 37 to 63, okay? Don't copy my answers because they're not right. Dun, dun, dun. Um, but yes, solving the arrow method, building off of your previous answer. Sound good? Great job today and I will see you guys tomorrow.